Hello, my name's uh, Michael Platts from Monero Native Tree Nursery at Bombala. Um, we're here today just to give you some um, basic steps of um, tree planting and how to make it successful. Um, it is, uh, is very basic, but the first one we really need to, to concentrate on is our ground preparation. Um, and you can see here that um, this soil has been deep ripped by a bulldozer uh, to a depth of about um, probably this stick, 600 mils, something like that. The deeper you can go, the better. Now, um, I know a lot of the f your farmers out there will say, I've got a, a tractor, I can do it. But I can guarantee you that you won't do as good a job as a bulldozer. A bulldozer's got a lot more downward pressure, a lot more weight, and um, can give you a lot um, better depth and width. Now, the main reason for um, ripping, people think it's just to make it ease of planting. Ease of planting is just a benefit. The main reason for deep ripping is moisture retention. So we're, what we're trying to do, any bit of moisture that falls, we wanted to get it trapped off, coming off the side of this small hill here. So any moisture runs, gets down deep into these um, rip lines. We've had some rain on these a couple of days ago. So it's nice and moist on top, but I can assure you it'll be a lot wetter down the bottom. So it's all about moisture retention. Now, if you do your ripping right, um, like basically try and do it, if you're going for a spring planting, you try and do it at least six months before you plant. Um, and, and that's, so if, during that six month period, you should be trapping all the moisture that falls on this site. But you also have to combine that with um, some good weed control. So basically you want to do a pre-ripping -rip spray to um, kill all the grass, because any green grass here means it's sucking moisture away from your trees. So you know, we've done a pre-spray here and um, we've actually done, now it's sort of coming time to plant, we've done a pre-planting spray that's with just a knockdown spray and a residual spray. Now the residual is a key factor because it'll keep any um, weeds from germinating for the next six months or so from when we plant the tree. Now in most um, cases on farms, good pasture is your best thing you can have, but when you start putting trees in, it's the weed to the, and the tree's the main product. So if you've got any green sort of grass growing on your rip line that means it's sucking moisture out which will take the moisture away from your for your from your plant um, so you know how you design your rip lines is um, up to the side a bit but you've just got to be careful not to um, um, cause any erosion as you're doing it on this side here we decided we didn't uh, rip on the contour we've ripped a bit off so it's loud um, any excess moisture to run away and not wash your rip lines away. But um, deep ripping essential, it's the, the, the key factor. And it's all about um, getting moisture into your rip lines. That's the main, main aim with it and to keep all the weeds away. And the, the side benefit is um, the planting. Okay, um, we've looked at moisture uh, retention on a larger scale with your deep ripping and weed control, but in a smaller scale where you can't do that, like out in the, even if it's a re -veg job, heavy mulching is the answer, as you can see here. Um, same principle, good layer of mulch. This one here is um, a, a pine bark, a heavy pine bark composted. Um, probably about 10 to 15 centimetres thick um, is ideal, but it's the same principle. All you're trying to do is keep that moisture in there and, and keep the grass away from your tree because, as again, the green grass will be sucking your, um, the moisture up. Um, the other benefit is, especially in the garden situation, is you're keeping um, 
your soil temperature at a constant rate through the, through the summer, so the tree um, will really enjoy that without the fluctuations of a real hot day on, onto the ground. Um, the other thing is you want to look, when looking for a good mulch, um, if you're in a high wind area you really want something this, like this uh, mulch, it's got some good solid particles in it so it's not going to um, blow away on the um, first real windy day. But um, yeah, people say, oh can I put drippers in or water, if, if you can mulch, do it properly, you'll save a heap of water. Um, you won't have to put infrastructure of, of, of drippers or some other watering system. So it, it definitely is another um, great way to get your trees going. The difference between mulching and not mulching is probably, um, you know, in most trees it would be, you know, maybe 30 centimetres to a metre growth difference in a year. So, yeah, back to the same thing. Mulch is all about water retention and keeping the weeds away, so definitely worth your while.